would you say with all the medical technology out there, with all the studies, with all the science, is cancer on the rise or is it is it, is it on a decline? It's definitely on the rise, and it's well recognized that the lifespan of Americans is going down, not going up, and we're seeing more cancer in younger people, like we used to see more diabetes in younger people. But of course, everybody recognizes that the body weight and fat percent and waistlines of Americans are also going up. So how you would have to expect cancer to be going up as people keep putting on more body weight and eating unhealthfully. So with all the knowledge and all the nutritional gurus and all the information about preventing cancer, eating healthy, the vast majority of Americans are still winning, winning a race to get to kill themselves, commit suicide with food as fast as they can. You know, so it's funny because it's actually sad. But between 1990 and 2005, death rates and cancer rates went down because people stopped smoking in America. And the what happened was is that the combination of education in schoolrooms and laws being passed to prevent smoking in public places and at work sites, that a lot of people just said, forget it, I'm not going to smoke anymore. It's too much of a hassle. And people, you know, we had a, a, a whole a fully spoked effort of educating children. And, you know, we had a whole public announcements. We passed laws that people couldn't smoke in public places. And smoking went down to such a degree that cancer rates overall and death rates started to improve. And that aligned with this time when in, in the time in human history, when doctors were advised to stop prescribing hormone replacement therapy for postmenopausal women. Because before 1990, it was the biggest thing in the world. Every postmenopausal woman was told to be put on estrogen to, to, to protect her bones and to protect her brain. And now we found out with large scale studies that that increased risk of breast cancer and strokes. And, you know, it wasn't so, so doctors were very more careful and more selective and started using lower dosage. And most people were not, were not recommending that anymore. So the combination between smoking cessation and less prescribing by doctors made things improve a little bit between 1995 and 2005 on a 10 year period. But the growing, but then the, the continual explosion of the fast food movement and the processed food movement and the growing weights of Americans continue to climb and the stopping of the smoking, then people gained weight after they stopped smoking. And of course, now we're seeing more deaths than ever before, even more than when people were smoking. So now the death rate and lifespans are even lower compared to when they were all smoking because the body weights and, and obesity rates and fat percentage of Americans are even higher than ever before. And the medical profession can't do much to stop the trajectory of poor health when people are eating unhealthfully. Med the medicines and doctors have very little effect on affecting people's long-term survival and health. It's, it's how people live in their own, how people choose to live, you know.